Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64 out here very early. It's uh, 7.15 in the morning. Uh, my wife has a doctor's appointment. I can't go inside because I'm coughing still. And uh, they have strict rules against people that are coughing in hospitals. Don't understand that either. Uh, so I'll stay out here in the car while she's inside. It's a countdown. We're in a countdown. I have shown you that the Rosh Hashanah actually does begin at um, nightfall in uh, Israel on the 14th. The 14th is the day the fourth star algae of skirts along the horizon. This is astronomy, not astrology. It happens every every single March 16th which is also the day of equal parts, and then it's even more hidden, which March 16th is Kasei, and then March, I'm sorry, September 14th is also Kasei. It is a hidden day, and on that day, it is not the day of equal parts. The day of equal parts will not happen until the 26th. So it is, or the 25th, it is 10 and a half days, 10 hours, I'm uh, sorry, 10 days and 12 hours apart. They are that far apart from uh, September the 14th. And you can go look at all this on time and date yourself. And you'll see if you go into Stellarium, 71.2 is their horizon. And that in fact does happen on March the 16th and September the 14th. Now, that date passed, it passed. But I think what we're in right now is a countdown. I've been watching for a very long time. I was not as far into this in 1988, the 88 reasons for 88. In 1994, it was supposed to happen, and I made my walk on, 19, uh, on November 20th of 1994 to the front of a church that I had never attended that uh, taught prosperity, which I didn't like, but it was me outwardly expressing what was going on inside of my heart. John 644, very important verse to me. You always see it behind me when I'm making my videos in the room. And it says that God calls us. Nobody comes to the Father lest the Father draw him, which means if you feel this drawing happening, it's because God is beginning a good work. And if he begins a good work, he does not just walk away from that. He didn't waste his time with you calling you to a good work and then just decide, well, I, I changed my mind. I, I'm not saving this person. That's not how it works. So anytime you say, I have a date that I made a walk, you have the word I in there and it has nothing to do with you. Salvation literally has nothing to do with you. It's all about Jesus. And I have been saying, and I've always said that you were saved before you made that walk. These are outward expressions of what's going on in your heart before you came God. And the reason you made that walk is because God had already saved you. As a matter of fact, I know approximately when it happened as a child, when I was about 14 or 15, is when God began working in me and I began looking for these types of things. So, I became very serious in 2011, and I had a big piece of paper along the wall um, trying to figure this out when it was going to happen. And so my point is, in all of this, is that the first date I had was 1988. Then I waited six years for the next date to come along in 1994. Then I waited until 2011, which is, what, 17 years for the next date to come. But something has changed here recently. Since the Revelation 12 sign, in my comment section, I will see people making the statement, I became very interested in this and trying to figure out when the Lord's coming back and watching all these YouTube videos and all of these people and all the math and all of the different signs, what's going on in the world, what's going on with the weather, what's going on with things we're seeing, what's going on with dreams and visions, what's going on with the information we find in the Bible, all of these different things are going on. And since the Revelation 12 sign, 
so many people have come into a belief that they didn't have before. And I've been watching this progression. And I believe what we're in now is, and I didn't, I really didn't think I'd be going to this appointment this morning. I thought we were going to be gone. But I believe what I'm seeing is a countdown. And I said this in many videos before, is that it was decades apart for a date. Then it became months apart for a date. Now we're in a literal days and moments for a time and date. And while we haven't quite figured that out yet, my date of 5.47 p.m. on September the 14th passed. My other date, when child came out of the womb, that comment called child came out of the womb at exactly 6 a.m. this morning, passed. But the Jews, and I'm going to show you this, which is spectacular. I didn't find this. Another channel did, and I'm going to give you the name of their channel. Actually, two channels spoke about this. And I'm going to give you the names of their channel so you can go subscribe and watch their video. Um, sorry. I'm stuffy still. Um, go watch their video, and uh, they actually have a little bit more information. I have something else that I found in it, but it's a countdown. We are in a countdown now, and there is a – Rosh Hashanah doesn't actually begin in Israel until nightfall, and that is – I think it was six. 37, I don't recall exactly, 647 at nightfall. So that would be, for me, Eastern Standard Time, 1147 this morning. So we had yesterday at 547. We had this morning at 6 a.m. Now we have 11. It's, it, the countdown is tightening up. It's getting, it's getting close. Yes, Feast of Trumpets, I believe, is when we go. This is the feast that no man knows the day or the hour of. And I think it's because it's not hidden from us. God's not hiding this date from us. He's hiding it from Satan. And because we're here on this planet where Satan rules, it is being hidden because it's not for, again, it's not to hide it from us. It's to protect us. It's a father protecting his children. And that's why as we go through this, I think they have this big red button, this big red button that they're going to push, and the entire planet's going to go into turmoil as the rapture happens for an excuse as to what happened. Now, I'm going to go through these pictures and show you what I've added to what somebody else found. I don't like ever taking credit for what somebody else found, and um, show you their YouTube and then you decide uh, with this information what's next. I mean, you have nightfall in Israel beginning the Feast of Trumpets. You have the midnight cry, which in Israel would be 5 p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. Then you have twilight, which happens in the morning. It also happens, of course, at nightfall here in a uh, few hours, in three hours uh, in Israel. So you have night. You you have these this countdown that's happening, and there's all these different times. It's no longer months, years, days. It's literally time. We're down to the minutes now, and I think as we get closer, it's really going to shore up, and something somebody's going to find something new, and we're just going to keep watching. So let me go into these pictures right here. Where are we at right now? And put on my glasses so I can see. We are right here. Now, remember, for this timeline, Rosh Hashanah always begins at nightfall on the 14th, the concealing day, the Kasei, the four star algebra skirts along the horizon. This is the day God created time. Where's that at? Oh, it's down here at the bottom, I believe. This is, no, where's it at? Oh, it's over here at the top. On Sunday, September the 11th, he began creation. That was a good day for me to think that the rapture might occur, and I posted that. 
I'm not, uh, you'll never see me pull a video down because, again, I'm not saying the rapture is going to occur at this moment. These events actually took place at these moments. On September the 11th, God began creating the universe. On Wednesday, which is September the 14th, he created time. The first day of time is September the 15th. It's the first day of the year. This is the day I wrote, I have it wrong, it's not animals. Animals was created over with man. This is where the fish and the birds were created on day five. On day six, man and all the beasts of the field were created. And that is tomorrow. Now, I know that today is Friday, but the Gregorian calendar is off by a day. September the 11th I, uh, is a Monday this year, but if you go look at the 2022 calendar, you'll see that September the 11th, you'll know your calendars, right? If September the 11th begins on a Sunday and the day God created time is on a Wednesday. So 2022, the calendar is correct. I think it becomes correct again in 2037. So here we are down here. Here we are right here, September the 15th. At nightfall, as Israel sees it, this is when the Feast of Trumpets will begin. Now, what's great about this concealing day is it's two days long. It is nightfall for them from the 15th at nightfall, 16th and 17th at nightfall. It's, it's over with. Now, on the 17th is the last day of creation. That's the day God rested. And I'm wondering, as we go through this countdown... Um, what more will be revealed as we go through it? The last day of creation, God rested on September the 17th. This is falls within the 10 days of awe. And then, I don't know, but then, is it possible that seven days later, God will call some of the saints home, a great multitude that no man can count, on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the end of the 10 days of awe? Now we have Jesus being born on tabernacles. I saw Brenda Wel uh, Weltner's uh, video on this. She also believes Jesus was born on tabernacles. I believe she is correct. When I work out the math on everything of when Jesus was born, um, I find out that Jesus was conceived on December the 25th, the day we celebrate. That's the day Jesus did leave heaven when he came to be in the womb of Mary. That's the, exactly the day he left. In exactly 40 weeks, Jesus does everything perfectly. Some babies are born 270 days, not Jesus. He stayed in the womb for 280 days, exactly 40 weeks, and that lands perfectly on tabernacle. So we have a lot of very close days, and we could literally look at sunrise, n uh, sorry, sunset, the midnight cry, and sunrise, as being very high potential uh, rapture times. So we just keep going. Uh, God's land down under. Um, this brother sent me this, uh, this comment. I don't recall where it was, if it was in our Discord or if it was on the last video I made. But uh, he talks about, and I had already seen this. I was actually working on this when he sent me a text. I said, yes, I know. I'm working on it now. I was very excited to find this out. The rap, the comet child literally is crossing over or being born every feast of trumpets, every th uh, uh, feast of trumpets every 30 years, exactly every 30 years. It is absolutely incredible, and I'm going to show you that, what they found. Um, so... He's working on this as well, and what did he, he found something a little different, what did, what did he find? I don't, I don't recall what he found. Um, I don't want to steal your thunder, well, go watch his video. Go subscribe to his channel and watch his video. He had found something a little bit differently than I had found, and I thought that was pretty cool. Side note, this is my friend, my brother in Christ, Will, over at Worship and Watch. He has found the Revelation 12.3 sign, and I saw another wonder in heaven. 
He has found the other wonder. This wonder had to happen before the rapture, and nobody has ever found this, and he did. And he has found that these planets have fought, and you got to go watch his video. He explains it so much better than me, but he has found, and honestly, he's been talking about it for a little while, and it's gone completely unnoticed, which is a shame, because this is very important that this sign take place before the rapture. It happened back on June 24th, 2021, and we missed it, and he found it, and he shows you the the seven heads, the ten horns, and I don't recall exactly the passage, which is not cool, but what was it? It was seven heads, ten horns, oh, and seven crowns. Seven crowns, seven heads, ten horns, and he has found that, uh, that Revelation 12, 3 cents. So please go watch this video. Subscribe to him. Let's get this information out there. It's super important to subscribe to them. And get this information out there. It's no longer for us. We're going home. This is going to happen. Um, the bride is almost out of here. This is for the saints who are left behind. Think about this for a second. Uh, when you're questioning, is this right or is that right? Think about this for a second. All this information is super important for them. These are your family members, your parents, your kids, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your friends. These are people who are kind of watching they're like elisha they're following elisha they're right there with elisha but they just aren't quite on board don't you know that today the head of your master is going to be taken yeah 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 whatever okay i don't want to hear it but he's right there he'll see elisha with elijah the entire way he believes on jesus he just is hanging on to something which you'll see when Elisha, Elijah's raptured he tears off his clothes he tears off the world and that mantle that Elijah had he sends down to Elisha and Elisha puts it on what's very important if you see me go what's very important is that you get to as many people as possible because the 50 prophets saw the same event they didn't know what it was. They didn't believe. They even sent scouts out to try to find the body of Elijah, which they, of course, couldn't find because he was raptured. But they had no idea what occurred. They knew something occurred. They saw it happen, but they didn't believe. And that is where the Mark of the Beast comes in. So please subscribe to their channels, watch their video, and let's increase that. I'll share it. Increase that algorithm so that this information is here. And that's my biggest concern, Ray. I'm not concerned about the bride. I'm not even concerned about exact moments of rapture is going to happen. My concern is for the saints who are left here to fend for themselves, to put on that cloak, put on Jesus, and surrender everything, come to the foot of that cross naked with nothing to offer. You did nothing. You did absolutely nothing and take that salvation that Jesus has offered as a free gift, free gift. And I mean, there are, these people are everywhere. They outnumber us by so many. There's a great multitude that no man can count that will appear in heaven at this. I think it's the sixth seal. All right. So please go subscribe to worship and watch. Now they, they, this, this went out, this went crazy. Watchmen on the wall, huge channel. Very huge channel. Um, he, ha they, this just happened. They are bringing in Israel into these into these uh, peace talks. They're bringing Israel into these peace talks. Remember, when they shall say, not when they shall have, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon. Them. What's their destruction? The rapture of the bride is taken. What's left? Them. We're gone. We're not. We're no longer here to warn them. They're still here, and they have to figure this out. So this information is very important for them. Tyler over at Generation Twenty Four Thirty Four. Same thing. Israel peace plan added to seven year. They just added Israel into this seven year plan. They just did it. This is super huge. This is super big. This isn't stuff I look for. Uh, world events, this is what they look for, and they do a very good job. And, I, of course, I listen to them because I want to know. This just isn't my strong point. Mine is my timeline. This morning, this is, this is, this is TikTok. This is, this, is, this is 
counting down. This is the countdown. I might, I probably even named this thing the countdown. This is the countdown. It was uh, four star algebra that, in fact, happened at 5:45 yesterday evening. This morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the child was born. It took it 10 seconds. From 6 a.m. and 23 seconds to 6 a.m. and 33 seconds, 10 seconds for that child to be born. Now, again, it's a countdown. I thought that I wasn't that we were going at 6 a.m. this morning. I really thought that this was going to happen, but everything. It's look. It's a huge mechanical clock that you've seen in the movies, and it goes clunk clunking gears are turning everywhere and it all works together for time and as the second hand goes around it, or it's like opening up a huge vault a huge safe and you have to turn the dial exactly boom and stop then go back the other way pass your number a couple times and stop go back the other way pass your number one time stop go back the other way you see what i'm saying it is a huge safe and only when you reach that exact moment that, that we're tick talking closer to the very end will the safe open. Will this rapture occur? This is the countdown that we're seeing. So here's a part of the countdown. Nishimura. Now, Nishimura is crossing into the constellation at 601. It, it, it actually cr completely crosses in at 603. That happened this morning. Another part of the countdown. And let me tell you, and I'm going to show you something that just blow, is going to blow your mind here in a second. But Nishimura um, was has not moved in, I guess, a very long time. And just now, just now, this year, this period of time, remember that comet um, child goes through um, Virgo every 30 years. Every 30 years that happens. And... I, this is going to blow you. If you haven't seen these, uh, this other person that did this video, you, you, your mind's going to be blown here in a second. This person right here. This is where I saw this. And this person does a very, it's non-binary. And I, I couldn't, I, I don't want to be <laughs> stumbling over my words. I, I don't know if this is a male or female. I apologize. Um, but truth, love, light. Um, did this video. And I watched it, and my mind was absolutely blown by this. The comet, uh, the comet child comes into the womb, or exits the womb, every 30 years to the dot on Rosh Hashanah. And I, I am just blown away. Please go subscribe to Truth, Love, Light, and watch this video uh, so that you can see what they had found. And then I'll go through it with you myself. I didn't do the exact moment of time, but on 921 in 1903, this is 120 years ago, the comet child is coming out of the womb of Virgo. Amazing, right? Look when, and, sh and again, this, this person at that, uh, at that YouTube has found all this. I'm just repeating it. Look when... The Jews are calling for Rosh Hashanah. How is this mathematically possible? Why are they not calling Rosh Hashanah on the first sliver of the moon? I don't know if they've done it in other years. I didn't look to see. Uh, of course, I wouldn't be able to tell because the only indicator is every 30 years. It's not every year. You cannot figure out why they call Rosh Hashanah on a specific day, because it, in these, in these day, years here that I'm showing you, they have called it right here on, on uh, the 21st. Boom, the 21st, the child, the 21st. How did they do that? Because here on the 21st in 1903, the moon you can see is up there by the sun. I thought I had something with the 30 degree mark, which appeared, but I think it has some, the 30 degree mark has something to, more to do with the time that I was looking. But still, 30, 120 years ago, every 30 years, the child does this. The, child, the, the comet child does this every 30 years. Yet, it's not Rosh Hashanah, according to the people that view the moon and its first sliver. Why? 
why are they calling this on the same exact moment that child is coming out of the womb? It's crazy, right? Here we go in 1933, 30 years after 1903, the child is coming out of the womb of Virgo. Guess what they call Rosh Hashanah in 1933? You guessed it, September the 20th. September the 20th. They call it the same day. No sliver of the moon, nothing. Why? What are they basing Rosh Hashanah on if they're not using the first sliver of the moon? They've been worshiping the moon for a long time. Why aren't they calling it on that day, September 20th? Look where the sun is. 30, I, again, I thought that 30 degree mark meant something, but the time is why it's showing it at 30 degree mark. But look at the moon right up there with the sun. It's a completely concealed moon. And look at child in the womb in 1933. Let's go another 30 years. 1963. September the 18th this time. The Jews are calling in 1963, September the 18th, Rosh Hashanah. How does this happen? How does this happen? They are not basing their Rosh Hashanah on the comet child. They could have chose two days earlier, one, uh, two days later. No, they have been choosing Rosh Hashanah to fall, and they are not looking at this comet, I can assure you. I think this was just found, but this is where child was. I think we just found this comet, didn't we? I, I don't know how long ago it was found, but here we are in 1963, September the 18th, and it's Rosh Hashanah again. And look, it has nothing to do with the moon. I thought they used the moon to determine when a Rosh Hashanah began, the first sliver. But nope, the moon's up there um, by your heart, uh, completely concealed. You can't use the moon. So how is this happening? I don't understand. Next. 1993, yep, the child, September the 15th, look at this, September the 15th, Rosh Hashanah begins in Israel, what, how does this, how does this even, I can't even do the math on something like that, look where the moon is, in 1993, on September the 15th, and child, the moon's up there, how do they know when to start uh, Rosh Hashanah if they're not looking at that first sliver? All right, here we are in our time. I showed you this time earlier. 9.15, 6 o'clock in the morning and 23 seconds. And we know 33 seconds is when child made it out. Look at this. As sun sets, this now their day after me. I said the sun sets yesterday, but again, two-day feast. But September the 15th is when Rosh Hashanah begins. Look at that, September the 15th. It happened again. Where's the sun and the moon? <laughs> the moon's up there again. It is not the first liver of the moon. This has happened every year, as far as I, I went back 120 years. I, I, I could probably continue to go back, but wow, that that's mind-blowing in and of itself. I went ahead and looked at 1873, yet another 30 years. Child is there again. In 1873, Rosh Hashanah was on September the 21st. Look at here, 921, September the 21st, in 1873, and the moon is up there by the sun. How do they know when to call Rosh Hashanah? Is it a day thing? What is it? It has nothing to do with the moon. They're calling Rosh Hashanah, not using the moon. 30 years. And of course, this uh, YouTube pointed this, po uh, pointed this out to me. Uh, Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. Is this a countdown? This is a countdown. This is a huge countdown right here. But guess what? It was hidden, and I think it's still hidden from Satan. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. When Satan crucified Jesus, he inadvertently helped Jesus, which, of course, that's God's plan, is to even use the wicked to his own ends. And um, Jesus crucified on the cross is what saved us all. Saved us all. When I was younger, when I, when I first started looking at this stuff, I'm like, man, if I could go back in time, I'd stop that. 
I would not stop that now that I understand what the cross means and why God did that. And so glad God didn't give me the ability to go back in time. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so Satan doesn't understand. If he understood, he would have never drove those people to crucify Jesus Christ. And he does not understand salvation whatsoever. If he did, then he would have done something else other than that he does not know when the rapture is going to occur it is hidden from him that's what this hiding thing is it's not hiding from us it's for us to seek it out kings seek out this information it is for god to hide a matter and he's hiding it from satan and subsequently from us all right so done with my pictures i don't know what happened where's let me see what i did here oh there it is Look at Nishimura. It's the difference. It's the thing. This is the countdown. The one thing that has changed is Nishimura. The comet Nishimura is not found in any of the other dates that I showed you. Every 30 years, there is no comet Nishimura. That thing sat still for ever, thousands of years. And out of nowhere, it's like God's up in heaven playing golf, and he just hits it. Boom! And it goes flying. And what does it do? It comes into the outline of Virgo at the same exact moment. One minute later, it comes into the outline of, I don't know if I have that. I don't think I have that. No, I don't have that. But you can go look on uh, your, your, your program, your star program, and you'll see that this is the first time in all those that I showed you, 30 years, that Nishimura uh, it appears and he comes into Virgo and leaves, and again, this is our countdown. So, <clears throat> what do you think? That's pretty spectacular. We're in it right now. It's a countdown. So, here we are. We're waiting, and we're watching, and we're hoping, and we're praying, and that's all we can do. We're doing our best to figure this out. Of course, it's not up to... It's up to all of us to work on this together to try to figure this out. So, Repo Man 64, I thought I'd bring you this quick video this morning so you could, um, you know, figure something else out. I'm not the only one figuring stuff out. There's so many of us out here working on this, and those uh, three different uh, YouTube channels I showed you are working on all of this. So, it's a countdown. That's what the name of the video is going to be. It's a countdown. Go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know, and you don't need to tell anybody. And accept the Lord in your heart. It's a private moment between you and your Creator. You don't need to make it public. It's not a prideful thing. It is a secret thing between you and your Father. You'll find that in Matthew 6, 5, and 6. And then after that, after that, you'll realize what drew, drove you into there to do such a thing was that God had already began a good work in you. He had already began that good work. It happened before you went in there to do that. You did that as an outward expression of what's going on in your heart. Those that have no thought to even do something like that are not saved. But if they hear you say, if you see me go, they might go in there and kneel down and say, Lord, I, I just, I thought the whole world was going to keep going. I thought these people were crazy. And here it is. It's happened. But I heard this person, this guy, this gal talking about this. And here we are. And I know it was the rapture because of how they spoke about what, what the deception was going to be. And that's what we're doing. We're telling you the deception is going to be. It was a nuke. It was a climate change. It was a magnetic shift it was the aliens took them out of the way god took all the bad the the uh the, the crazy christians out of here because they're interfering in what his plan is for this world i mean there's so many different things you know that they're talking about as to what possibly could have happened and it won't none of them will be right except for those that heard you say if you see me go so make sure to tell somebody if you see me go so when it happens they have the proper tools to get them through that period of time. And so a lot of people I'm seeing are beginning to leave their letter behind stating, this is what happened. Don't buy into the lie. 
don't buy into the lie. So, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to mine, too, if you'd like. And uh, this rapture could occur. This might be my last video. I hope it is. But every minute I have to make one, if I find anything, I'm going to come right back on here and deliver it to you. Am I saying the rapture is going to happen today at 11? No, I didn't say it was going to happen on the 14th. I said that that's when Rosh Hashanah actually began. I'm not saying that, that when the child comes out of the womb of Virgo, that was when the rapture was at 6 a.m., but it was a very high probability. It was a very high watch moment, and we're going to go to the next moment, and that is sunset today in Israel, in fact, does begin Rosh Hashanah, and you see that comet child there every 30 years, and Jesus became to be about 30 years of age. It's, it's, it doesn't contradict. If it contradicts, throw it in the garbage. It, it doesn't contradict, hold on to it and say, that's another piece of the puzzle. And that's what we're looking for is pieces to that puzzle. We're at the end. We can see the picture. We just have to get that one piece or those several last pieces to fit. And then we'll be there. One second you'll be sitting here worried about this and worried about that. And the next second you'll be standing in heaven and all of those worries will be gone. Everything, the pain, the stress, the problems, they'll all be gone. And you'll be standing in heaven in eternity forevermore with zero problems. Everything will be gone, and it'll be like eternity. Our future will be eternity. So, all right, we'll chat with you again later.